Hello everyone, my name is Pineapple Dorothy, and in today's video is going to be making my dream dress. Now, actually, this whole process of me making the dress is actually going to be in two different parts. So, part one is going to be about talking about the dress that we're going to be making today, and then we're going to show the materials, and then show our idea of the dress. Our, I, drew, I made a drawing, so we're going to do that. And then... We're going to make the bodice part, the top of the dress, for part one. So yeah. And then in part two, we're going to make the skirt, the pockets, and then make it all into one dress. Combine the skirt with the, the bodice. So yeah. But let's really quickly talk about this dress. So this dress is from the movie Gone with the Wind. And it's the barbecue dress. I think everyone knows almost everyone, I guess nowadays, knows of the barbecue dress. It's a beautiful dress that is white and has green flowers all, all over it. And it's just been, it's my dream dress. And I've wanted to make it for, I wa I've wanted it, I wanted to make it for years. And even before I taught myself how to sew, I wanted to make, or I wanted to buy a dress that was similar. But thank God I was able to find fabric and that is almost identical to the original dress. And we're going to be making this dress. So the next part, the next clip that you're going to see of this video is basically showing you what the original dress looks like. And then in the next part after that, I'm going to show you two drawings that I made about the dress. And then we're going to talk about whatever, whatever. I don't know. We'll see. All right, here is that clip. All right, so here is the original dress from the movie Gone with the Wind. And it's it's great. It's beautiful. It's it's amazing dress. I just, I love it. I love this dress so much. Now, we are actually going to go more off of what this dress looks like. So it's not obviously the original. I'm pretty sure it's a replica. It's from the Gone with the Wind uh, Museum. But we can see this picture a little bit more clearly, and we will take the elements from this dress to make our to make our version of the dress. So as you can see here, there are pleats right there, and obviously the ribbon. There's a small ribbon right there for a bow, and there's a ruffle. And we are going to add these elements to my version of the dress. Now, let me go ahead and show you two pictures that I drew of the dress and my version of the dress. So, yeah. All right, so this is the first drawing that I actually did of the original dress. And obviously, mine is not going to look like this. Mine is actually going to look more like this. This is going to be my own version of the barbecue dress. Now it has all of the elements of the original one, as you can see, pleats, green ribbon, some green bias tape, and a bow that we're going to be making with small green ribbon, or I think it's like a half inch or whatever, half an inch wide ribbon. But yeah, this is basically what it hopefully will look like, will look like, and I'm very excited to make this dress. And this is the fabric. Now, this is the fabric that I've been dreaming of for four years, and I finally have it. So this is what we're going to be working with. And we have, you saw this in the corner probably, green ribbon for the waistband. Uh, green, more green ribbon, but to make little bows, I'm pretty sure that's like a half inch. And green bias tape for the bodice part. So yeah. I'm pretty excited to make this. Now let me show you the patterns. Alright, so here are the two patterns that we're going to be using. Now don't worry, I have already combined this top, which is what we're going to be using for this project, and this skirt together to make one dress. I've already done a mock-up and it works perfectly fine. Now the only difference is, is obviously there's going to be no sleeves, it's only going to have stripes stripes, straps, whatever they're called, and there's going to be no elastic. It's just going to be pinned to the skirt. Now, um, the only difference of the skirt is this skirt asks for four uh, panels of the skirt, but we're going to add five, maybe if we can, six into it instead, 
that way it's more swooshy and more able to gather it because the more fabric that we have to gather it together the prettier that this dress is going to look like so yeah all right and also i almost forgot this is for the ruffle for the bodice which is going to be right there so yeah wow that took probably and over an hour to get everything cut. I don't know. It was a lot. But anyways, I was able with the skirt panel, as you can see, I was able to get six of these panels, which is perfect. The more panels I have, the more swooshier it will be and the more I can gather at the waist and it'll just look very pretty. So yeah, and here is a pocket. This is the front piece. This is the back piece. This is the strap. For the arm i i am going to make some things for my hair just to tie around to make like a decoration or whatever so i have a hair tie maybe a bow that i'm going to add or maybe i'll just give it to mom i don't know yet and this is the ruffle and this is long we're going to do an entire day of just doing the ruffle because i will go insane if i try to do several things including with the ruffle because this is like I was able to get a bunch. You'll see later when we do it. But yeah, I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed now. And yeah, see you later. All right, so it is the next day, and I just got together. This is the front piece of the bodice, and this is the back piece. And right here I have darts, a dart here and a dart here. And now I'm going to combine it together to make one bodice. So yeah. All right, so this is so far what the top of it looks like. Now, yes, it doesn't look like much at all, but trust me, once we add like a ruffle, cause there's gonna be a ruffle here onto the strap and then all the way in the back. And then obviously we're gonna attach this to the skirt. And it's gonna be, I don't know, I'm excited. It may not look like much now, but I know that in my mind, it's coming together pretty good. You, it's just like baby steps. We take baby steps. So yeah, but this is basically what it looks like now. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take a break for today. And then later I'm going to do the ruffle for this bodice. So yeah. All right. See you in the next clip. All right, so it is a few days later, and I, first of all, want to say that I forgot to show you how long this train was for this ribbon, but, which I'm sorry about that, um, but right now, as you can see, I'm pinning it to the top of the bodice, but I figured I have, like, this left to pin. I figured that I would, for you guys, do, like, a time lapse. That way you can watch it, and I'll add, I'll probably add some music to it or something. So, yeah, I figured you guys would enjoy that, but this is where my progress is so far. So, yeah, um, here is the time lapse.
All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapses that I did. I um, hope they were fun to watch. Uh, I have like this much trim left. You can't see that. This much trim left over. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of probably cut it here or whatever. And then I'll hem the sides like, like what I did with this. I kind of hemmed it like that. I'll probably do that. Same thing here, but, you know, I rather have too much than too little. You know what I mean? So, it, whenever you're... Fun fact, fun um, uh, idea for you guys. If you're sewing anything, doesn't matter what it is, if it's longer or bigger than your size, that's great. Because you can easily cut away some that you don't need and you can do that. But if you make it too small... You, you, you're kind of stuck. So when you make something that is a little too long, that's okay because it's fine. So yeah, um, I'm going to get going on this. So guess what? The blouse, the top of the dress is done. Here it is. <laughs> um, it's all done. Finally. After probably a week of maybe almost two. Well, after a week of working on it, because, you know, I work on other days, and I have to work on the days that I am not working. But, um, obviously, not much going on, because it's it's just the top part of the blouse. And, but, well, not, there is a lot going on. This whole ruffle, let's just really pay attention to this ruffle, because I am so happy that I was able to make this ruffle. I am very happy with it. It came out pretty much exactly how I planned it to look out. It does feel a little bit loose, but I think with the dress um, sewed to the bottom, it'll hold it tight more. It's just, you know, it's loose right here. So anyways, but this is what it looks like here. I'll show you the back of it too. Can you see? Probably not. I have no idea, but it's all the way around. And I did this bow too, which I'm very happy about, but yeah, that's the bodice. <laughs> not much when it comes to the waist area, but when it's attached to the skirt part of the dress, it will look so much better. But yeah, I mean, that's the end of this part one of the series of making the dress. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know how I did with the part one and part two, but I'm still making this dress, obviously, and it's not done yet. So part two is going to come out um, next week. This will be out, what day? I have no idea. I don't, I don't know what date, uh, but after this, vi after a week of this video, video being out, I will upload the part two. So it'll be part one and then part two the next week, if that makes any sense to you guys. I don't know. I'm still learning, okay? <laughs> but I mean, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, please give it a like and subscribe and put, meh. And push the bell notifications so you know when I upload a new YouTube video. And also push the bell notifications if you want to see this dress be finished. Because it's only halfway done now. We have the skirt portion of it. And then we have to make it all into one dress. So yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah. Um, one last look of this ruffle, which I am very, very proud about. But yeah. So yeah, bye-bye, peace out, see you in the next video. Goodbye.